In the past year, this economy has created millions of jobs, but it is still millions short. President Obama has overseen the creation of more than 6 million jobs since the pit of the recession in March 2009. But that still leaves the economy 2 million jobs short, simply of replacing those lost by the recession. We are creating enough jobs each month to stay just ahead of population growth. But what about the last decade of population growth? The Bush administration created net zero job growth in eight years. During that time, the population of the United States increased by 25 million Americans. And those 25 million Americans have zero new jobs open to them. The United States has added another 10 million citizens during the Obama administration. The employment situation for them is better than it was a few years ago, but after four years, we are still cleaning up the mess left by President Bush. One would assume that the 35 million people who were born here or legally immigrated here during the past decade would want an opportunity to find work to better their situation in life. Where are they supposed to look in an economy that can barely keep its head above water? We are adding jobs each month, and we have been for nearly three solid years. That is wonderful news, and it is better than losing jobs each month in any case. But where is the economy of the future? Upon what foundation will our economy be built? The United States is not going to lead the way into the 21st century with tens of millions of generationally unemployed Americans who have no hope and no opportunity for work. For more news and information, please log on to economyincrisis.org.